everyone, I'm Scott from ScottHerbertFitness.com and Sears Fit Studio. And I'm going to show you guys a quick routine that's going to help increase the firmness of your chest and your glutes. We want to call it curve your weight training. Now the first thing you're going to do is very simple, is you're going to get a pair of dumbbells. And you're going to do a dumbbell push up for 30 seconds, and then as soon as you finish for 30 seconds of that, you're going to do a single leg rear raise. And you go back and forth, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, without any breaks, until you do three sets for each exercise. So all you're going to do is grab a pair of dumbbells. So obviously, with the push-ups, we're working the upper body, the chest, and the arms, shoulders, triceps, a little bit of everything. Keep your core nice and tight. Flex your abs. Maintain a neutral spine. And make sure when you come down, your arms form 90 degree angles. Okay? Come back up. Just like this. And you're going to do for 30 seconds. Now, if you have a hard time doing push-ups, you can go to your knees if you have to. So very easy. Go to your knees, keep your core tight. Come all the way down. And if you need to make it a lot easier, you can bring your knees in like this. Arch your back a bit, keep your core tight. And come down this way. Okay? So 30 seconds of push-ups. As soon as you finish, you're going to do single leg raises. And all you're going to do for that, for the single leg rear raise is get up like this, keep your body nice and straight, keep your core tight, and for 30 seconds, you're gonna raise just like this, and go back and forth. I'm keeping my core nice and tight, and as I come up, I'm flexing my glutes as hard as I can, as well as my hamstrings, quads, and calves. So, back and forth, 30 seconds each, three sets, and on to the next exercise. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to do a chest fly. We're going to use the Nordic Track Adjusting Toning Tube. All you need to do is make sure you find a stable surface. And if you guys need any of these stuff, if you need dumbbells or resistance bands, i got links in the info section below for you. Okay? You take a step forward, just like this, and bring it in. So you're going to do chest flies for 30 seconds. Now, as you do your chest flies, you want to make sure your arms aren't up here. They're right below, coming in, about the nipple line. Don't go back too far. Breathe out on the way forward. Just like this. 30 seconds. As soon as you finish here, you're going to superset again. And you're going to superset with a reverse lunge. And you're going to hold some dumbbells while you do it. So you're going to do a dumbbell reverse lunge. What are you going to do with the dumbbells? You're going to hold them up, just like this. Elbows in front of you. If it gets heavy, you can put them on your shoulders. Or try to hold them in your hands. And then all you're going to do is start off straight like this. Take a step back, lunge, and come up. And you're going to alternate legs. And then you're going to do this for 30 seconds. Keep that core nice and tight. As you come back, keep your chest up. Make sure when you come down, you're forming 90 degree angles at your knees, just like this. And as soon as you finish 30 seconds of those, go back to the chest flies and go back three times. Now, the last exercise you're going to do is a bit intense, so you're going to have to be careful, okay? We're going to do burpees, however, we're going to hold dumbbells while we do them to do some added resistance. Now, what you're going to do is after you do each burpee, you do a 10 second break. I'll demonstrate. So you're going to start like this. You're going to come down. Make sure the weights land firmly. Throw your feet back. Have the chest hit the ground, kind of like a push up. Then you're going to come up. Bring your legs in. Stand up. And jump. Okay? Now I'm going to wait 10 whole seconds. And then get back into the exercise. Down. Out. In, up. If you get tired, you might do that. So make sure when you do them, you put that push up in there. Let's get down, come in, up, push. 10 more seconds. Down, out, push up, in, up. Now, what you're going to do is do these until you get tired and you can't do any more. So, that's Curve Your Weight Training. I'm Scott from ScottHermanFitness.com. This is a Sears Fit Studio production, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.